We now have the Google Pixel 9 series out and about, and this might be the first time that you've ever been tempted over to a Pixel. And I wouldn't blame you this year because the design and the feel of these is probably the best that Google has ever done. And I've been using the Pixel 9 Pro XL for the last couple of weeks. So I wanted to give you some tips and tricks that you might never have used before, or maybe you missed it at the launch event when Google teased these back in August. This video is brought to you by the Chuck Tech CP253L power bank. And we'll talk about that a little later on. Let's start with the best feature hands down for the Pixel 9 series, and that is Gemini Live. And if you haven't used it before, then you need to go and try this. Essentially, Gemini Live just lets you have a natural free-flowing conversation with Google's AI, and it feels almost like you're having a chat with a real person. You need to activate it by triggering Gemini, which is now your assistant by default, and then hit that small live button in the bottom right. And when you first open it, you can select between 10 voices, but I found Ursa to be one of my favorites, but you can change this in your settings at any point. And as soon as you've selected that voice, you're ready to go and ask get a multitude of questions. It's really conversational and you can just interrupt it at any point to ask it anything that you want. It can't access certain phone features like calls, messages, and calendar. And if you want a more deeper look into Gemini Live, we've done a video on this. So just click the video in the top corner and you've got to try this because you'll be seriously impressed. Another new addition to Pixels this year is Pixel Studio. And this is basically an AI image generator and it works so well when asking it to create certain types of images. And you can create almost anything you want using Pixel Studio, except humans. It can't create anything human-like yet. So you just get a prompt that says, humans coming soon. But other than that, you can create pretty much anything that you want. And all you have to do is type in what you want, click create, and it takes like three or four seconds to generate that image. And then it will give you a pretty good idea of what you asked it. It will though only give you one image at a time. So if you don't like what it's generated, you have to go in and do that again. But then once it has given you a couple, you can swipe through those images and decide which one you like, and you can save it to your gallery. You can change your styles as well if you want into things like anime. And I found this so cool cool when I asked it to generate Pokemon. Like it got the Pokemon accurately and if you select the anime tab it looks like something that has come directly from the TV show. Like I mentioned you can save these to your gallery and share them pretty easily but there's no watermark on these images to say that it's been generated with AI. So maybe something that Google might want to add but at the moment no watermark you can share these as freely as you like. Sticking with new, and this time it is Pixel Screenshots. So this is a new app from Google, and it basically helps you collate your screenshots into one place. I have so many screenshots of things, and there are just so many that I just can't be bothered to go back through them because it takes too long. But with Pixel Screenshots, it will do that searching for you. It's indexed and organized by Gemini, meaning you don't really have to rely on screenshots with text to search for something. You can search for anything that you might have taken a screenshot of. So if you're searching for new trainers and you search trainers, it'll throw up everything related to trainers that you've taken a screenshot of. And if you did the screenshot on Chrome, you can actually go right back to the link by clicking the Chrome icon within the screenshots app. I need to spend a little bit more time with screenshots to go through it all, but it is impressive. Like it will even give you information and the name of the item underneath in the details of the screenshot. You can also create collections inside the app to make it easier for you to access any of your screenshots that you might want. Sticking with AI features now that Google brought to the Pixel 9s this year, and there's a couple of camera ones that you might want. Potentially the coolest one is Add Me. This basically lets you add the person who's taking the photo to the photo by swapping out the taker of that photo. And I'll just show you what I mean. In the camera app, if you go to the Add Me feature, you need to take like a really quick scan of the scene you're in just for a second, line up the shot, and then take that picture with the first people in the scene. Then what the camera app does is show where the people were stood in the original photo, so you can stand semi-awkwardly next to what was there, take the photo, and it just stitches it together. 
It also then saves both of those photos. So the first photo and the second photo. So if you ever needed to get rid of someone that was in that photo, you have the option. Panorama has changed a little bit now as well. So if you ever wanted to take a photo like this in the past, you'd have to move really slowly and try and line up everything perfectly. But now with the Pixel 9, you kind of just have to connect the dots. When you go to the camera and open the panorama mode, you just take your first photo as you would, and then you'll see dots appear where you have to move the camera towards. It'll then take these photos automatically, and you can move at a more normal speed and don't have to line things up perfectly. After a second, you can view that photo and the tensor chip with some AI magic does a really good job at stitching these together. Next is Google's new weather app. And we know already that Google's UI on their weather app is probably one of the better looking ones on Android, but now they've made it even better. It's basically a page of widgets now that you can customize the order of and make it feel a little bit more personal to you. You can just drag and drop anything anywhere. So if sunrise and the sunset are important to you, you can move them up to the top of the app along with something like humidity. This does though have to go under the hourly forecast bit as that just stays there by default. But there is a new AI weather report at the top of the screen that essentially reads the data from the app and gives you a summary of the day without having to scroll through anything. It doesn't give you a ton of information, just a few bullet points, but this has been pretty useful. A new feature to the Pixel 9s this year as well is call notes. And call notes gives you the ability to record your calls and then transcribe them and then summarize them on your Pixel. This isn't on by default, so you need to go to settings, call notes, and then activate it there. And depending on where you are in the world, you might not see this as a setting that you can turn on. When enabled, all you need to do is tap try it when you get a call. And then when that call is recording, there'll be an audio message that says this call is being recorded so the other person who's calling you knows that they are being recorded. Once you're done to see a summary of that call, you need to go into the Recents tab on your phone app, and then you can tap the View Full Transcript option. But you might have to wait a little bit of time before that shows up. This is where you can view the entire transcript or you can listen to that recording that was just made and you can also share the WAV file that was recorded of that phone call. Now let's talk about Chuck Tech and their CP253L power bank. This is a great 20,000 milliamp hour power bank that can output up to 45 watts of power. It can charge a Nintendo Switch up to 2.5 times and it can charge the S24 Ultra almost three times over, getting it to 60% charge in just 30 minutes. The power bank itself can also charge fully in one hour and it has an LED display to check real time battery status. And the best thing about this is it's airline safe so you can take it with you on your travels. This also comes with a built in USB-C cable so you'll never be without charge again. If you like the sound of this Chuck Tech power bank then just check the description below where you can pick one up yourself. And that's a load of those new features for the Pixel 9. But like I mentioned, if you've come over to Pixel for the very first time this year, I'm gonna give you some like quick fire tips that I think really just enhances using a Pixel phone. Quick tap is something that I use every day. And it's basically a double tap of the back of your phone. And you can open pretty much any app with this. So I have it set up for the wallet so I can get to my gym code quickly. It's hidden in the gestures, but if you just go into settings and search quick tap, you can then set it to a few different defaults like assistant or to take a screenshot. But like I mentioned, I use this every day to access my wallet and it makes it really easy to switch between cards. Next is creating AI wallpapers. And sometimes I even forget this is here, but it's really simple to use. If you just long press on the home screen and then head to the wallpaper settings and then select more wallpapers, you can play around with those AI wallpapers. It can actually create some pretty good wallpapers, but it is a little bit hit and miss. And if you fancy, you can actually swap between a few styles. So for example, you can swap to night, mineral, soft focus, and then there's some preset options within that style. But for me, they are a little bit limited. And if you like one that the AI creates, just set it as your wallpaper. You can also in AI wallpapers create an emoji wallpaper if you really love emojis. You can change between colors, patterns, and those emojis that you wanna use. And some people might find this quite a cool feature for their background. It's not for me, but I do know people like it. And the last two tips are things that I use every single day. And one of them, if you use a bigger phone like the Pixel 9 Pro XL, one-handed mode is gonna come in really useful. 
You can just swipe down on the home bar and have that screen drop for you rather than having to stretch up to it. And if you want to do this, just go into settings, of course, search one handed mode and literally turn it on. And you can either make the top of the screen come to you or have it set up to have notifications open, which again is really useful. And for the last tip, this is my all time favorite feature on Google Pixel phones. It is now playing. If you've never used this, then when your phone is locked, it will just sit there and listen for music that's playing around you and show you what that song is on the lock screen. You can then go into the settings of now playing and look at all the songs it's ever listened for. And I love this. You can set it up when you first set up your Pixel, but it's easy to miss. So if you did, just go into settings and search now playing, turn it on and you'll experience the best feature ever on a Google Pixel. There you go, just some like tips and tricks of some of the new features that have been brought out with the Pixel 9s and just some old classics that I think might help you improve your experience with your Google Pixel phone. So let me know in the comments below, did you get a new Google Pixel this year? And if you did, which one did you get? And did you ditch an iPhone or Samsung? I'm genuinely curious about this. Before you head off, make sure you subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel as well. And if you do that, then I will see you later.